Hey guys, John here. It's another episode of Vault of the Dungeon Master. Uh, it's been a while since my last video. I've um, just been busy with schoolwork, you know, school comes first, that type of thing. Um, but I've kept up my gaming, uh, and I'm going to show you a couple things that happened. Because uh, of stuff I've created. The first one is something I've done for uh, my world, my homebrew world, uh, the main city. Uh, I drew up the, uh, basically the Temple of the Divine, uh, yeah, it sounds like a Skyrim name, but yeah, just took it, took the name out of convenience, it's kind of a, the main temple of this town, it's kind of, like, it's an all face temple, as you can see, it's got all the shrines there, and then underneath, you know, you've got some catacombs, some, like, siege warfare, like, reserve stuff that I kind of took from some Byzantine ruins, that I've learned about in some cl in classes I'm taking. But yeah, that's that first. I think, I think that came out really good. Just haven't designed the outside. The next is... My players have had, have had a keep. I got a keep granted them in this town and I said to my players, you know, you guys can design what it looks like. And my one player actually did it and because he's kind of into drafting. And, um, he designed what it looks like. That's the outside. There's the inside. They haven't furnished it yet. And then there's the basement dungeon level. But yeah, and then I basically said, after he drew this, I said that basically in the city, that's pretty much what all the houses look like. Because, I don't know, I, I, I'm, I'm a weird drawer. I like drawing, like, layouts of things, but I can't draw can't draw like what a building looks like aesthetically um i just have to show pictures and it, it's good to have uh, like you know it, it's good to have like drawings i think of like actual like how things are set up so yeah that was kind of cool and it's kind of my f this first group's kind of contribution to this world that i've been creating for years so uh, i like that um also want to know the other game i run uh the Fifth edition game that uh, we're using. I'm running Princess of the Apocalypse. I think I told you about this last time. I'm running it in the Dragonlance setting. And that that's a lot of fun. Um, I'm running it kind of before the War of the Lands, but after the Cataclysm. Uh, which is fun. So, no clerics. So, basically it's, it's D&D 5e without clerics. So, uh, that's kind of interesting. Um, but no. Now that I've DM'd more of 5th edition, I like it even more. Um, of course, I do uh, say one thing. I, I really should have ran uh, Prince of the Box. I really should have ran it um, before the Cataclysm in the days of the King Priest. Because that, I think, would have been fun. Because uh, also it's a pre-Cataclysm, which really doesn't... Uh, I mean, it gets some love in Dragonlands, but not much. Um, but yeah. But anyway, yeah, uh, that's pretty much how my gaming... I also got involved with a game on here on campus called uh, Brave New World, which is superheroes. And we kind of... Here's that folder for it. And I'm playing in that, so I'm, I I got really excited because, you know, I, I, I get to play and not DM. And that's the character sheet. It's kind of a cool little... kind of runs on this cool little open-ended dice pool system. And it's kind of cool. It's, um, you have a pool of dice for an attribute, like say it's speed, so like you could have up to five, so you roll 5d6 and plus it by any bonus skill, like dodging or whatever. So it's kind of cool. And you only really take the highest number of that die pool. And if it's six, you reroll the six and take the six, then you have to see. Yeah, so it's, it's kind of cool. It's kind of cool. I like it. It's different. Shame it's not a print game, but yeah, definitely might add it to my collection one day. But anyway, that's kind of how I've been. I'm gonna tr as always, I'm going to try to keep you guys updated with things. Um, but yeah. Uh, I'm going to keep gaming. And keep you guys updated. At least try. And I hope you all are having a good gaming. And, and remember to always keep gaming. And, so, and make, the, make it sure it's a happy gaming. I'll catch you guys later.